James, Amelia, and I'm Victoria. Hannah. How old are you? I'm four. I'm Jerry, and this is Abigail. Five. It's What's your name? Tracy. I'm Cole, and I'm five. Hi, I'm Tracy. This is my daughter, Casey, who is seven. And this is? Carter, and I'm eight. Tanner. My name is Jake. I'm Rusty and I'm 13. I'm Ella, this is Madeline, and my son is Cooper. Uh, hi, I'm Wendy Book. My son Ryan is 10. I'm Ryan and I'm 10 years old. My name is Dr. Mazio Resvani. I'm an allergist and immunologist here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I work at Georgia Allergy, Immunology, and Asthma. I'm Juan Sadu. I'm an allergist immunologist with Georgia Allergy, Immunology, and Asthma in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is uh, Benjamin D. Gold, I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist and I practice at Children's Center for Digestive Health Care. Dinesh Patel, I'm one of the pediatric gastroenterologists at Children's Center for Digestive Health Care. I have ESM Phyllis Ophitritis. <laughs> An eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorder uh, is a, a condition in which um, a particular type of inflammatory cell, um, in particular the eosinophil, um, invades the lining of the gastrointestinal tract, in particular the, what we call the mucosa of specific things such as the esophagus, the stomach, the upper part of the small intestine, and in fact actually in some severe disorders can involve the entire gastrointestinal tract. Well, I don't think anyone knows for certain which um, causes aged or eosinophilic diseases in the gut. Uh, certain things can trigger or exacerbate patients who have aged, such as food allergies. As some um, other um, scientists have hypothesized that environmental allergies might be playing a role as well thought of as an allergic phenomenon and that T helper cells in the immune system are turned on. These, they're actually T2 helper cells and they're turned on by a specific allergen and this allergen then will cause uh, increases in pro-allergic cytokines such as IL-4, IL-5, and IL-13. And these pro-inflammatory cytokines will then um, will then cause uh, increases in IgE antibody as well as uh, recruitment and activation of eosinophils and mast cells which will then uh, cause an inflammatory reaction in the tissue. The eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorders are broken down into categories based on which part of the GI tract is affected from the esophagus to the stomach, the small bowel, and the colon. And there are a number of other eosinophilic diseases that are very rare, such as the hyper-eosinophilic syndrome, the Schurk-Strauss syndrome, the eosinophilia myalgia syndrome, and a variety of others um, that commonly affect uh, adults more so than children. The best way to diagnose um, the eosinophilic gastrointestinal disease is through um, scoping and a biopsy and then looking under the, at the tissue under the microscope to see and quantify the number of eosinophils in the um, tissue that's affected or organ that's affected. So avoiding foods which you're specifically allergic to that are recruiting the eosinophils to that tissue. Um, number two is for EE specifically uh, is having swallowed steroids. Uh, and for bowel, swallow steroids wouldn't necessarily work, so at times we use bursts of systemic steroids and we also use um, a medicine that is called uh, swallowed chromalin. He coughs a lot, he gags, he vomits, he has a lot of bloody mucus diarrhea, 
um, abdominal pain. My oldest one, his symptoms are chronic diarrhea, vomiting, food getting stuck going down, and abdominal pain. My youngest one has constipation, food getting stuck, and vomiting as well. Um, I wouldn't want my AE to make my tummy hurt. Life has changed dramatically because we have five people in our family and one who cannot eat any food at all. Although he doesn't have a limited diet like a lot of the kids do, he does take a lot of medication to stay healthy and out of pain. How has life changed for your child and your family? I don't live normal because Jacob won't quit sneaking foods. It's hard to go out to dinner because we have to pack everything for her. We found a few restaurants that still serve baked potatoes. That way the kids can understand this disease does not define them. It is simply part of what they deal with every day. Here I am I'm back to feeling normal once again It's a whole Sometimes you have to laugh If only just keep yourself alive.